What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video. And today is Saturday, March 7th. So you know what that means. Another Jordan brand sneaker release. You know what that means. And today we have a banger for you. In this video we will also go over what I picked up in London and Paris. I picked up two pairs of shoes, three t-shirts, and a designer wallet. Let's get into it. For today's video, I'm here with my boy, Fatboy PBC. Make sure to check him out on Instagram and Snapchat. Is it Snapchat Fatboy PBC or no? You can't get the snap. You can't get the snap. So, you can't get the snap. So Instagram is just Fatboy underscore PBC? PBC, you got it. I will link his Instagram down below. So for the banger we picked up today, it's a Jordan 3. Um, it's not a retro colorway. I mean, I guess it technically is a retro colorway because it's a UNC colorway. So they're technically retroing the UNC colorway. Unfortunately, it does not have the UNC logo on the tongue. But my dog over here says he likes the Jumpman better. I like the double embroidered Jumpman. That man is fat just like me. So I can't yeah. go against it. There you know. So here it is. And this is first look. We haven't even taken them out the bag. We caught these a few hours ago, early morning. Shoe Palace let me in a little bit early, 7 a.m. Oh yeah, we were, we were waiting to get our first look for you guys, so you guys are special. And I've been waiting for these. If you got me on IG, you know I've been, ooh, I've been waiting on this. So this is first look. And the box already, we got the powder blue box, and this just. Yeah, so they, they switched up the box right here. It's a powder blue top. Um, normal traditional box is black with a red jump man. They kept the elephant print slash cement. No, this is more elephant print than cement. This is elephant bottom. So the, the bottom is the same. The top is what they switched up. Baby blue, white Jumpman instead of black and red Jumpman. Here I picked up a size 9. Uh, actually a size 11. And Fatboy over here picked up a size 9.5. Nine nine so at our local stores, um, they only got like one size. They only got one pair of every size. So it was like kind of, it was kind of limited. It was, it was a GR release. Like everybody got them. But like the stores got like limited quantities. So I went to actually three different stores before I, before I found my size 11. So it was actually a little bit of a struggle, but you know, we got it. So it's all good. Red guts, I like it. Elephant on the paper. Yeah, these, these are nice. These are definitely nice. I'm not going to lie, when I first saw first looks of these, I told him, I said, hey, I'm not getting these because there's no UNC on the tongue. I said, I'm not going to do it, but I'm actually really happy that I went ahead and got it. That leather. Yeah, the leather is actually pretty nice. I heard some people saying that it was trash, some people say that it was premium. Um, it's typical Jordan 3 leather. I mean, how does it feel compared to black cement? Oh, this is a, this, I forgot to let y'all know. Here's the kicker. Listen. We had to pick these shoes up in style. We weren't gonna just go on some slides and socks. We snapped on our fits. So right here, I got the cost split T right here. I got 76ers Mitchell Ness basketball shorts. But here's where we killed it, our sneakers. Right here, I have white cements on, clean from 2011. This is my first sneaker I've ever picked up by myself. And my boy to my right has this clean gray Nike sweater. The same Nike sweater that I picked up in uh, purple, but he got it in gray. My boy got the cleanest Miami Heat shorts you will ever see. And he killed it on feet with the black cement threes with Nike Air on the back from 2018, 2018 right? I think we snapped on our fits, but let's get into the shoe. So we're going to start the shoe off. Uh, I'm going to start off with the tongue. My favorite part of the shoe, and it's just the thickness, the embroidery on it. Some people were mad that they didn't get the UNC3, but I like this jump, man. <clears throat> first thing I saw when I saw this shoe, first thing I saw was that tongue. The embroidery, the stitching on it, how thick it is compared to a BC3 or white cement, any three really, but that just really just stood out to me. You got the hints of the, the navy blue on it and the eyelids there. And it's just such a clean shoe. The colors are beautiful. Spring coming up, summer's just around the corner. It's always summer in Florida, but this... It's a hot boy. It's a hot boy summer, girls. Yeah, and I just took off my white cement. I'm just comparing the tongue. Like, they went, I guess, with the older school tongue. Um, the leather comes up all the way to the top, and then there's some of the material in the back. Um, these from 2011, uh, the tongue is a lot fatter, and the uh, material actually comes above the leather. So they switched it up. The leather on the UNC3s is higher than the material 
but on the other ones, the material is higher than the leather. And on uh, White Cement 3's, the tongue is not a smooth leather. This is more of like a crinkle leather. I don't know. Tumble leather. A tumble leather. Yeah, exactly. It's smooth on the black, because that's, is it suede or is it? Yeah, it's a gray no. leather on black cements. So definitely is a big difference in like tongue quality. Um, when you see them all back to back, this one the leather is higher, this one the cloth is higher. It's definitely a big difference. And as you can see, this shoe is falling apart uh, from 2011. I'm having paint cracking. This paint cracking right here just really happened from today, um, from walking. I definitely have to get these restored because I do not want to give up on these. It's one of my favorite shoes in my collection. Unfortunately, these white cements do not have Nike Air on the back. Um, in 2011, they weren't really doing that. You know, you got your standard. These are, I'll, I'll wear all mine, but black cement is definitely heavy in the rotation. I'll throw this on with anything, a nice fit, some basketball shorts, whatever. But this is always a go-to for me. You got the Nike Air, of course, on the back. Um, from what I remember, is one of the first shoes coming back on one of the retros that they threw the Nike Air on. Yeah, it was that white cement, and then the next one was like those. It did like maroon sixes. Right. Yeah, it was a few of them. That was it. Not, yeah. It was one of the first but, ones. So that definitely was, was definitely cop. On the UNC threes, on the inside of the tongue, one says heart and one says soul. It's a little bit switch up from different. Um, white cement threes just has the size tag. How about black cement? Yep. Yeah. Size tag as well. Size tag, so it definitely is different. They put the size tag uh, lower left hand side, like all the traditional size tag. It does say quality products inspired by the greatest basketball player ever, and that is stitched onto the um, insole. Red, into the red insole. Red insole. It's a nice hit. Just like the heart and soul is red as well, so nice little touches. Um, this shoe is actually really nice. Um, it actually surprised me. I wasn't. I wasn't too happy for this. I wasn't too like happy about this shoe, but looking at it in hand, I'm definitely happy I copped it. If I didn't copy it, I think I would have slept on this shoe. So it was a dope pickup.